hi everyone and welcome to the 2021 Lone Star Conference Women's Basketball Online Media Day. I'm Lucas Kinsey for the Lone Star Conference. Thanks for joining us. The Lady Buffs were selected to finish third in this year's preseason poll right behind Lubbock Christian and Texas A&M Commerce and today I'm with West Texas A&M head coach Josh Prock and two Lady Buff players Lauren Taylor and Zamri Roberts. Thanks for being with me today. All right. So Josh, it's a truly a pleasure uh, to be with you, buddy. And uh, so let's talk about uh, you as far as being named head coach uh, for the Lady Buffs. Happened back in June. Uh, and you come to WT from rival Eastern New Mexico where you spent eight seasons as head coach, compiled 77 wins and a Lone Star Conference championship in 2017. Talk about your excitement level as you take over a, a, one of the best programs in the nation, the Lady Buffs. Yeah, first of all, I appreciate uh, the question, Lucas. I appreciate being here. Um, you know, when I was when I was contacted by WT back in May when it opened up, um, this has always been one of those jobs that we've always, you know, my wife and I and our family have desired to be at. Uh, it's one of the top D2 jobs in the country. And so when they called, uh, we knew this is where, where God wanted us and it was where it's time to go. And uh, so it's, it is, it's a true honor to be here. And uh, the rich tradition of this program is something that we're going to look forward to continuing for sure. Yeah. So Josh, your teams in the past, uh, it's no secret, you're known for tough defense, you're known for balanced scoring uh, both inside and out, and also what I would say is a don't back down from anyone type of attitude. Uh, what can fans expect to see from your team in this first year uh, when you start with the Lady Buffs? Yes, uh, we're, I mean, you described us pretty well. I mean, we want to be one of those teams that no matter the setting, no matter where we are, we want to be able to be consistent with how we play, you know. And we want, we're, like you said, we're, we're not going to back down from anybody. We're going to always uh, approach everything head on. We want to have a very much a humble attitude about what we do, whether you know win or lose, whatever happens, you know, you, you stay humble. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what these girls can do. But I mean, you you, you hit us now on the head. I mean, we're going to we're going to look to push the ball maybe a little bit more okay. than they have before. Um, but we're going to uh, really try to lock people down. I mean, that's what, you know, coming from the mentality I come from, that's yeah. what we try to do is lock people down. Defense wins championships, right? Okay. Uh, Lauren, let's start with you. Uh, Lauren Taylor out of uh, the state of Tennessee originally. And uh, Lauren, your team, Lady Buffs, in the preseason poll, picked to finish third uh, in the LSC. You transferred to WT last season, and so you had a full year of playing in this conference. Okay, so two questions for you. One, is how tough is the competition in the conference? And the second question, tell me why the Lady Buffs can win the conference this year. The Lone Star Conference is definitely a solid basketball-oriented conference. We know, they know everybody team knows how to play. They're tall, big, strong. It's a, there's no off games. Yeah. <laughs> Every single game, you have to bring your A game and be able to compete. But this season, we have a solid team. We're deep, tall, big, stacked really and I have whole confidence in what we can do this conference this season yeah. and conference tournament and farther. I like that I like that confidence. Okay, Zamri Roberts, now your turn, also known as Zam, which I love that name. Uh, this young lady already has an impressive resume in the Lone Star Conference, uh, earning all conference honors as a sophomore at Eastern New Mexico, uh, and then becoming one of the best guards uh, really in the conference, piling up some big numbers in terms of points, steals, and assists. You obviously did great things in Portales, but you decided to transfer to WT after Coach Brock was named head coach here for the Lady Buffs. What was your deciding factor in making that decision to come to Canyon and finish out your career? A um, couple of things. First off, I mean, Coach Proc has helped me really been the reason for me being able to have those achievements and success that we've had. Um, having the confidence in me as a freshman to come in and lead the team and he's been very patient with me and so I really wanted to uh, keep playing for him. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that was one, and I recently got married, and so it was just a really overall great decision for me and my husband to come here and play, okay. and I'm super excited to be a part of the Buff Nation. Well, so. Buff Nation is glad to have Zam <laughs> on board as well. So, Josh, speaking of talking about Zam, I told you when we found out that both Zam and also Olivia Lewis were uh, transferring here to WT, took me back to the mid-90s. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, and so I can remember seeing the 49ers players, Charles Haley, Deion Sanders, go from San Francisco to Dallas, and I'm like, yes, they're on my team now. <laughs> so that's kind of how it felt. 
Uh, Zam is, is a tough competitor and has been for the last several seasons. Talk about her leadership abilities uh, and what you expect from her this year. Yeah, I mean, you know, as Zam, she mentioned earlier, you know, we brought her in, and as a freshman, she had to step right in to a big role there at Eastern. And we had full confidence in it. We knew when we watched her in high school what she was going to be capable of. And, uh, you know, Zam, Zam's more than ready to come in here and step in and take on not only a leadership role, a lead, you know, whether it's a lead guard, point guard for type position, she's more than ready for that. Um, and so, you know, it's like, you know, I equate it to like, you know, bring in like a quarterback, whether it's Dak Prescott, Tom Brady, something like that. It's like bringing that along with you, yeah. you know, and you, this gives you a lot of comfort level as a coach because she knows my system, she knows what to do, she knows the conference and stuff. So it's a blessing to have her and to continue to coach her for the last two years. That's outstanding. Lauren, uh, Lauren Taylor started 18 games last season for WT. She averaged six points and four rebounds per game. I wanted to ask you this, Lauren. Coach Proc has said that his program is going to be built on three pillars, okay? Love, serve, and care. What does that mean to you as a returning player and a veteran on this team? Well, Coach Proc has done a great job implementing that whole principle, love, serve, and care. So you have to basically love what you're doing every day, love each other, love your teammates, love the sport. You have to care, so actually put effort in and commit and dedicate yourself and time to getting better. And then serve, being a good person, a good teammate, and overall just helping other people get better as you grow. So it's been great to have him teach us that, really. That's a great program. That's a great answer. Uh, Josh, this year's roster in your first season is a nice mix of players just like Lauren Taylor, who were here last season and have uh, the talent and the experience, and also players like Zam and uh, some others who are transfers or maybe some newcomers, some younger players on the team. Give us a preview, a quick preview of the talent on this roster. And I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Lauren uh, earlier is, why can why can the Lady Buffs win right now? It's a great, uh, great question. I mean, I... I look at it, I mean, I, you know, I always compare everything back to the two seven, 2017 team I had because that team won a championship. Mm -hmm. and I think we have just as much talent as we had on that roster. Uh, I think we've got a lot of really good pieces to to fit. Um, you know, obviously bringing, you know, Olivia Lewis over to, you know, helped. I kind of, again, equating that to like we said, we said with Sam with, with having Tom Brady type thing. You know, it's like bringing Rob Gronkowski along with you. Hey, there you, you go. Know? <laughs> and so, you know, somebody that she's comfortable with too. And so. Yeah. But they've been great. I mean, Lauren and her teammates, you know, Jayla, Jill, you know, um, all the other ladies that have come back, Macaulay, they've all been great as far as like meshing together. And then the new girls we've got coming in, it's a, it's been a great mix so far. And because they are all willing to lay their, self, their, their own desires aside to be a better team. So I think because of the way that they're buying into the pillars of what we're doing, that's going to give them a chance to uh, compete and do well this year. Yeah. Uh, Zam, as you get ready for the 2021 campaign here at WT, what do you like uh, about this team that Buff Nation will see very shortly here at the First United Bank Center? What are your go what are your goals going to be also as an individual player? Um, as a team, I think one of my favorite parts is when we're in practice and just being around each other. Like everybody's giving their all. That hasn't really been an issue for us. You know, going hard, giving full effort, and I think that's the key. I mean, in a lot of ways, the yeah. basketball is just, you know, not giving up. Sure. And so that's probably my favorite thing. And then for myself, um, actually, we were talking today about we have one word that we're going to try to live out this season. And my word today was pride. Pride for taking, was that my word? Yeah, yeah. it was. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Um, taking pride in my actions and on the court and off the court in my relationships. And so I think. For me, my goal is to live that out yeah. and be accountable to myself and to my teammates. That's really good. So, uh, Josh, last question is, uh, in your first year as head coach, you decided to go out and just compete against the best competition in the country, right? <laughs> Which is great. Uh, on October 29th through the 31st, WT is going to host the D2CCA Tip-Off Classic. And we'll see teams like Drury University, Central Missouri, also Southwestern Oklahoma State, who was one game away from the Elite Eight last year. This is uh, this is just the first weekend, okay? And then you have the Lone Star Conference schedule as well. But how do you feel like that tough schedule is going to help you in what the ultimate goal is, is to make it to the NCAA tournament? Right, and you want to challenge yourself early because the conference, you mentioned the conference being so tough. We want to challenge ourselves to see where we're going to be against the Lubbock Christians, the Commerces, the Midwesterns, the St. Mary's and the people of the world. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have tough, really tough competitions. So we're gonna have to be ready. And what better way to do that against two teams that both of them were in one national championship, yeah. 
the other was the Final Four, the other was the Sweet 16. So it's great to challenge ourselves early to see where we are, and it'll it'll help us down the road. You know, being on the uh, national committee, I know how the numbers work and stuff, so sure. it's going to be nice to have that in our back pocket to have those games. Okay, thanks so much, Coach, and also Zan and Lauren for joining us today, and good luck this season. We're ready for some hoops. Thank yep. you, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, the Lady Buffs start play Friday, October 29th at, uh, right here at the First United Bank Center, again at the D2 CCA Tip-Off Classic. All those games will be here on the Lone Star Conference Digital Network. I'm Lucas Kinsey for the Lone Star Conference. Thanks for watching the 2021 Lone Star Conference Women's Basketball Online Media Day.